So I had an experience the other day I thought it was worth making a YouTube video about. I went and grabbed my stud sensor, threw a battery in it, I noticed it wasn't working. So my first thought was, well, the stud sensor is probably no good, it's been sitting around a while, and I get these things at a garage sales all the time for a couple bucks, and I'll just cannibalize a couple parts, throw it in the trash, get another one. So went and grabbed another one, put the battery in, same problem. So I thought, oh, wow, I didn't realize I had two bad stud sensors. Well, fortunately, I had the sense to double-check my battery voltage. But in this case, I checked it under load, and I found out that I was misled by checking the battery with my multimeter. Now, here's a multimeter here, for example. If I put my probes across here, I've got about 9.5 volts. <clears throat> and yet, when I put a load on it, it drops way down. In fact, what I did was I tried putting a uh, thousand ohm resistor across there, and that 9.5 volts dropped down to 2.9 volts. Where I did the same thing with the uh, other battery here, the 8.9 volt battery, it only dropped down to 8.36 volts. <clears throat> that one on the far left was a new battery. Anyway, it got me thinking about load testing batteries more, small ones that is. Now, I've been using load testers for car batteries for years. In fact, this one here, um, it puts about a 100 amp load on the battery. It's got a heating element inside here that gets pretty hot when you flip the switch. And so you watch the voltage drop, and you see basically where, where it drops down to, and you get an idea of the status of your battery. Well, you know, I was looking through my meters here, and I looked at this one, and I thought, well, this is just for people that don't know how to use a multimeter, right? Well, no, that's not the case. What I realized is this, this battery tester made by Radio Shack, it actually puts a little load across the batteries. And in fact, uh, it's actually useful for checking uh, small batteries. So for example, here we, we've got the 9.5-volt uh, battery. Look when I put my meter probes across here. Let me get out of the way here so you can see my meter. You can see it, it's, it shows that it's got a problem. And just put my meter probes right across here. And that's the 9.5 volt battery, but look at the 8.9 volt battery. It actually checks good. So obviously there's some kind of internal resistance lowering the current coming out of this battery. And you know, I've seen this before and I thought, well, you know, I probably should make a YouTube video about it because it's probably more common than people realize. Anyway, um, just for the fun of it, I went ahead and I measured the resistance across the different probes here going to this meter just to see what kind of resistance it had when I went through the uh, battery selector. And I noticed that, well, some of these, they have a current rating right on it. It tells you what kind of current it's going to draw when, when it's under load. So, for example, here it's showing you that if you try one a 1.5 volt battery in this mode here, it's going to put about a 150 milliamp load across it. And so I might measure the resistance, like I said, across the two probes and this is what I got so I'll give you a rough idea what kind of load they put across the battery to test these small batteries here for example for the uh, 9 volt battery they have a a 900 ohm resistor or internal resistance I should say anyway for what it's worth I just thought it was worth talking about so I hope you find the video interesting as always if you enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe